Growing up on an island taught me to live off the land and the ocean and that we need to work together. My name is Kimmy Warner. Hunting has taught me that no matter what I want to pursue in life, nothing is going to be hours spent in the field, observing, watching, learning, living. This is my field. Spearfishing is my favorite way to collect food, and it's the most selective way that I know to hunt. You have one breath, one drop, and one shot to get one fish. It gives me great appreciation to know where my food comes from and also to know that it lived a wild and free life. I don't really feel that it should be man and the ecosystem because I don't think that we're separate. I believe that man is a part of the ecosystem. And realizing that helps me to strive to find my place in it. I definitely don't think that I'm at the top of the food chain. Finding my place is knowing that my place can change at any given second. Spearfishing prepared me for one of the most intense moments of my life. I was on a trip to study great white sharks, and with the captain's permission, I got to free dive. I had my head out of the water and I was fixing my mask as my buddy Morgan slipped in after me. He immediately started shaking me and warning me. I knew what I was going to see before I even looked. Three feet away from me was the head of the biggest great white I had ever seen. To my surprise, I let out a squeal and I started swimming towards her. All of my years spent hunting taught me how to read a fish's body language. The way that she was moving, the way that her fins were out, all of it just showed me that she wasn't looking at me as prey. At one point, she started swimming up directly towards me. So I took a drop and started swimming down directly towards her. And we just sort of met in the middle. But as she got closer, she completely slowed down to the point where her tail almost stopped moving. And I just sort of landed on top of her. My hand reached out and connected with her dorsal fin and we just started to glide together. I know that she could have eaten me at any second had she wanted to. But in this moment, we're just two animals, two predators, just swimming together. This moment really confirmed to me that we're all so vulnerable and so dependent on one another and that we have to take care of each other. Because the moment we stop taking care of nature, that's when everything's gonna be lost. Whether it's respecting the plants that we eat, the animals we hunt, or even the ones that might be hunting us, it's all a beautiful thing, and we're all in it together.